All right, thank you for staying with us. It is time now to know what's on the front pages of uh, Nigerian newspapers. A lawyer and social development advocate Jide Olugun and lawyer Tunji Abduhamida here in the studio to join us at looking at the papers this morning. Gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Good All morning. Right. Thank you very much. All right, let's head straight, straight to the papers now and we begin with uh, the national economy. FBI to Nigeria drops uh, by 1.37 trillion naira on back of uh, dwindling oil prices COVID-19. You find details of the story on the pages of the national economy. To the leadership newspaper now, Insecurity, publishers, stakeholders, one of imminent implosion. Insecurity, publishers, stakeholders, one of in imminent implosion. You find details of the story on the leadership uh, newspaper. To the Daily Trust now, you are complicit in cessation bid. Northern elders tell southern governors, say northerners living in fear in south. Federal government should evacuate herders from south. Uh, Garbashe, who lacks authority to make policy statements, uh, Akere Dolu, devolve powers to states. The Nigerian press organization tells federal government. You find details of the story on the front page of the Daily Trust now. To the blueprint, uh, open grazing will no longer tolerate attacks on headers. NEF, that's the Northern Elders Forum, warns, uh, will no longer tolerate attacks on headers. The Northern Elders Forum warns. To the Daily Times, now reps query handling of uh, $23 million, 2.75 uh, billion naira by AGF and NPC. Uh, reps query handling of $23 million, 2.725 uh, billion naira by AGF and the NNPC. To the business day now, Nigeria officially moves towards overdue single exchange rate. Nigeria officially moves towards uh, overdue single exchange rate. You find details of the story on the pages of uh, the business day. To the first newspaper uh, now, exclusive at Tahiru presidency uh, zeroes in on five top army generals for chief or for new chief of army staff. Exclusive at Tahiru presidency zeroes in on five top army generals for new chief of uh, army staff. Now to the Nigerian News Direct, stagflation, MPC, other CBN banks on high export earning measures. Uh, MPC, other CBN banks on higher export ex earning measures recommends higher consumption investment, retains 11.5% MPR, 27.5% CRR. To the Punch newspaper, Sands, the senior advocate of Nigeria, fought a presidency attack on grazing ban. NEF, Northern Elders Forum, slams Buhari. Land use act empowers governors to ban open grazing. It's straightforward, Sage. Heda's right of movement doesn't cover right of cattle destroying farms, says Oyetibo. Uh, South won't yield its land to invaders, masquerading as headsmen. Akiri Dulu, uh, Governor Akiri Dulu speaking there. We move now to the Nation newspaper. Presidency gets knocks for opposing open grazing ban. Akiri Dulu stands at shocking, provocative, or Tom Okowa clack for the federal government. To this day newspaper now, Buhari not in support of open grazing. Presidency clarifies. Southern governors insist no land for invaders. Uh, ACF maintains position on cattle restriction. Uh, Buhari's uh, opposition to southern governors ill advised, says Clark. Sands allege ethnic uh, bias. All right, we move now to the Vanguard newspaper. Panic in Ebony as suicide bomber blows self to pieces. Suicide bomber made attempt to enter Amaizu, Amangbala primary school witness. No suicide bomb bombing, a boy in government. Uh, police. Omahi bans public gatherings, processions. Pandef, MBF react. Uh, government go haywire in Enugu Imu. Asaba declaration. Assert your powers to keep Nigeria united. Uh, Northern Elders uh, Forum tells uh, Buhari. We find details of the story on the pages of the Vanguard newspaper. To the Daily Sun now. Buhari on the fire. 
Akere Dolu or Tom Clark. Others uh, disagree with President on open grazing ban. Don't condemn southern leaders. Mark ban southeast uh, zone. That's Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria reacting uh, to that statement coming from the presidency. All right. Uh, we move to the Nigerian Tribune. Uh, 4.2 million pounds uh, Iborilut returned uh, to Delta, Accountant General says. Uh, but then we have a statement somewhere from the state saying that uh, the money is yet to be returned. Well, $633.8 million, 9.709 million pounds recovered so far from Switzerland, Ireland of Jersey, UK, he Arts. All right, gentlemen, uh, the story that is on almost all of the pages of the paper this morning is the reaction to the president's statement on um, the Asaba declaration, as it, it is been touted, as the meeting of uh, the South, the South governors of the South, 17 of them where they banned open grazing and reactions have been coming. Uh, the current uh, being that of uh, the statement from the presidency uh, saying, questioning the legality of uh, that ban and also saying that it's not necessarily a solution in itself when we look at talking about the ban on open grazing. And the presidency statement has been generating reactions. We see senior advocates of Nigeria faulting uh, the presidency's uh, statement and also some other persons faulting it as well. But then let's get your reaction. Let me begin with you, uh, Jide. Uh, what do you make of uh, the statement from the presidency, especially to looking at the illegality, as it has been said, of uh, the ban? You know, one of the strong points of argument is that under the Constitution, you have the liberty to reside and do business in any part of the country. And of course, I quite agree with that. Mm. But do you now have the freedom to be criminal in carrying out your business? So your, your right has a limit. Mm. And the primary purpose of government is the security of the people and the welfare of the people. And you see the threat going in the country against other stakeholders' businesses, the wanton destruction. I mean, and let's face the question whether it will solve the crisis of open uh, grazing. Open grazing itself is an outdated approach to that business. And the president and commander in chief of the armed forces has exemplified it. He has a ranch, and I believe he travels abroad. Mm. I have not seen cows by Gatwick Airport in the UK. Mm. I didn't see cows by GFK Airport in New York City. But I have seen cows by the Namdi Aziku International Airport in Abuja. Now, let's leave that aside. Are we now saying that in the process of carrying out your business, I even assume that you are free to do open grazing, that people should be killed, businesses, you know, farms destroyed, women raped, kidnappings carried out. Then why, why must you force that on people? So, but I have gone beyond the excuse of open grazing. I have gone deeper. I doubt if it is about cattle rearing. I think it's about an attempt to overrun this country. And How it's so? such a shameful thing if a nation rises against herself. And it's very simple. We have precedents. We have references. By content analysis, General Chofilos Danjuma alleged that there may be an attempt of ethnic cleansing in Nigeria. Can we allude to that? Mm. The people that are chased away from their local communities in Benue State, in Yobe State, in Niger State, that are pushed to IDPs, who are occupying their territories now. Recently, we read the case of an helicopter used to drop ammunition. They are denying not having connection with it. Right now, you see what is going on in this part of the country. I ask a question. How can people just, unknown gunmen, Burn down INEC offices, burn down police stations. Mm. So I don't want to believe it's all about business. There is something deeper. And finally, let me anchor it on another expose from 
Chief Olushe Gobasanjo, who has access to security intelligence uh, in, in this country, right. who was a military head of state mm. and a civilian uh, uh, president. He said there is an attempt to fulanize Nigeria and Islamize West Africa. And Can we say I, these, we are, these are true allegations in view of the symptoms we are beginning to see in the society? Right. And these are deep questions that I have been asking. So mm. I am not carried away by open grazing, but I am disturbed by the killings associated with this. Law is a business. We go to the Supreme Court in Abuja, it's within the same territory with Aso Villa. I have not been so drunk to go and knock, open a door in Aso Villa, that, hey, uh, we, 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 we stayed late in court today, I need to sleep here, I am a Nigerian, right. I, I'm entitled to stay anywhere in Nigeria. No! Mm. Those who are expected to understand the spirit of the law should properly interpret it. If we now say criminality is part of business, then we're in trouble. The medical doctors can just go out everywhere, they go kill people, you know, deal with the... No, 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 no. I, I, I say no to that. All right, let's get your uh, conclusion or your reaction, rather, to this uh, statement coming out of the presidency. Uh, I wonder what you make of it. You know, firstly, let me say that, look, the, whether or not uh, the ban on open grazing, uh, open grazing is legal or is not legal, does not fall within the mouth of the presidency or the AG of the federation. How it is only the court that can, that can determine, determine the legality of that act. And as a lawyer, I, I, I am aware that uh, there's a section called a section one of the land use act, which is part of the constitution, mm. which gives the, which fested the, the right to manage all land in the state on the governor for the, to hold in trust for, for, the, the, for, the, for the people. Right. So the, when you say the governor, this, by this section, it means that the governor of a state has a right to allocate land, has a right to design the use of that land, has a right to determine what and what the land will be used for. So if you are saying, look, we, this, 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 I have, so in other words, it means the governor that, can manage, that has the power to manage the land has the power to make law or policy regarding that, uh, the use of that land. And as it is, you, do, you see, why we are having this debate is that we are not sincere with ourselves. If we are sincere, the, the issue of debate on open grazing will not be there. It's, it's insincerity. There's a difference between ban on open grazing and ban on saying, don't do your business. All right. They were not told not to do their business. It's not like saying a spare part seller should not sell his spare part on the road. Mm. Are you now saying they are, they are depriving them of their, of, of their, of their fundamental rights? Perhaps they should get a shop and, and, and do their business there. Do their business or it's like saying uh, Al-Qaeda should not apply certain uh, routes. And you're not saying they are banning, their, 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 their infringing on their rights. No. They, you have the, the government, as a government, the role of a government is to ensure good governance and peace. So in doing that, there must be policies that would will, that will, that will, that will actualize that uh, particular uh, objective. So as far as I'm concerned, the, I, I am of the opinion that that's ban on open grazing is legal and is the right thing to do to ensure that peace reign in the, in, the, in the state. You also remember that, look, the governors are the chief security of the uh, officer of their state. Of and they hold it a, a point of duty to ensure that their citizens are, are, are safe. safe. And secure. So mm -hmm. one of the measures to ensure that is done is the open grazing uh, 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 ban. You, you see, when you say you have freedom to, to, to move from one place to another whatever, as you like, yes, that is correct. But that does not mean, just like you said, rightly said, you, that does not mean your right to move means that you cannot encroach on or, or trespass right. yes. on my own uh, land in, or destroy my property or my things in the name of I have the right to move. No, it's not like that. It, we are not being sincere with that. If you look at the comment that we are, we are seeing, you can see that most of the comments tend towards ethnic and religious sentiments. That, that's the next question I was going to ask because we are beginning to see ethnicity coming to play and uh, that is already generating concerns in some quarters of the society that the statement in itself is coming at a time where there are ethnic tensions and then a lot of persons are interpreting it in different, giving it different shades and color. We see uh, the Northern Elders Forum saying that the presidency should exert his powers and ensure that there is unity in the country and that they are no longer going to take attacks uh, on headers or their cattle. And uh, that is all already generating, we can see it's generating tensions. What concerns do you have? I think it's a function of mindset. Mm. And obviously, we are not operating this country with 
a unified vision. And that is why we have become the capital of poverty. It did not start now. I like making reference to what happened in 1953. A group rose up and said of the Southern Enclave that mm. let's have our independence from the colonial masters. And the Northern group said, no, we are not ready now. Let's have it as soon as possible. It was to be in 1956. Then that led to the Kano riot of May 1953. So over there, you can see disagreement of minds. Until today, even when we pretend that we should not talk about ethnicity, we should not talk about religion, people are influenced by ethnic colorations mm. and religious sentiments. And that is why you are saying it now, that we are beginning to defend the businesses that are regional in nature, that, OK, we must protect our own interests. And unfortunately, the rotational policy of governance in the country that should be advancing us in development is dividing us, which means if the northerner gets there, oh, what can I do to project the interest of, of my, my region, mm -hmm. whether they like it or not? And that's why you're beginning to hear statements, use authority. But let me assure everyone, as someone that loves this country, if we got our independence from the Britons, who were so smart, so highly educated and everything, then we are going to ensure, as God lives, that peace is restored to this. It's not by the power of man. So, mm. And that is why people are coming out now. And I so much commend the governors. For a long time, uh, they were just following, following. And Fela said, if you they follow, follow, open your eyes and everything. So they are beginning to see now. How do you explain that a whole sitting governor, Governor Tom, was almost assassinated? Right. Whether you call them unknown gunmen or bandits, if it's even worse to accommodate bandits in your environment because the definition of bandit is people who are operating, you know, criminal gang operating in a lawless community. Is Nigeria lawless? Mm. Look at what Governor Zulum suffered in, in Borono State. So we have come to the state now when somebody will just wake up and tell us they may come and attack National Assembly. Recently, the chief of staff of the president. Yeah. His house was boggled. Yes. Who are these unknown gunmen? Are we now saying the security apparatus we have in the country cannot overwhelm these criminal elements? And let me ask a big question this morning. Have we banned the use of drone in Nigeria? Mm. Go and carry out your research. Things that help other nations to secure their environments. We may be working against them. How many military aircrafts have we lost? Mm. In the last three months, are you not disturbed by a recent report that within three months in Kaduna State alone, 323 persons were killed, right. 949 kidnapped in just one state in three months? You see, you can see what is happening in the East. So what you now hear, there are several sides to it. It's either INEC will come out to say, okay, since the polling booths have been burnt down and uh, our offices and things like that, we need 72 trillion naira. We go borrowing again. When our total indebtedness is about 35 trillion naira already, from 12.12 in 2015, there are several issues, or it will be difficult for us to carry our election. So please, 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 you have the opportunity of romancing history to be on the golden side of record. Absolutely. By bringing unity and prosperity to this nation, or on the other side. All right, let's quickly go on a short break. When we return, the conversation continues to stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. We're still looking at the papers, and uh, the focus uh, for now has been on the reaction to the statement coming out of the presidency with regards to the ban on open grazing. Uh, Tunji, before we move on to another topic, I want your final word on that. Yeah, all I want to say is that, look, it's unfortunate that those who are supposed to be preaching unity are the one uh, dividing us. Because uh, when the presidency is taking side on the matter that has to do with the, 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 the citizen, mm -hmm. you are taking side on the... The on, safety on the, and security uh, of the Exactly. People. When an AG comes out to make comments based on his ethnic uh, uh, alignment, it's, it's sad. You cannot expect any change in that. And in a country whereby we prioritize uh, the security and the welfare of those in government, we cannot develop in the, with that kind of a system. You see, we have a system whereby those in government are the only people who are seen as, to, are seen as they must be protected. They must be guided. You see, I, I love what the governors are doing now. But I, I think they will, they will be able to, if they have been doing like this, not only bowing to whatever the presidency wants, and they just go and say, not, not minding whether or not it affects their citizen. They, and I will not be surprised 
if by tomorrow they have a meeting with the president and they say, okay, we are fine tuning the. You think that will happen? I, I will not with, be surprised. With the position of I even, will not be surprised. the governor saying will, that they are ready to go to court? I will not be surprised. Why? This is Nigeria. Once they get to that asshole rock, it's as if something else is there. They just want to bow down to whatever the president is, uh, is looking for. Hmm. So I will not be surprised. All that right. happen. Let's see how things uh, move from now on. Let's we'll move to the first newspaper now, talking about uh, uh, Atahiru presidency zeroes in on uh, five top army generals for the new chief of staff. We would recall that uh, the former chief of staff uh, died in. Uh, uh, aircraft crash uh, that happened uh, in somewhere in Kaduna and um, now there is seeking to be a replacement and uh, it is reported that the presidency has zeroed in on five top army generals for the new chief of uh, army uh, position and I wonder for you, uh, Jide, what you would be expecting looking at what is on hand right now when it comes to insecurity the personality and talking about uh, trying to set an agenda for the person. My expectation is in the line of good governance, mm. which means that section 14, subsection 2 of the Nigerian Constitution 1999, as amended, should be implemented. And it says that the security and the welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. So the new chief of army staff coming in should mobilize the forces to ensure that we have security in alignment with other agencies. We have almost 40, if not over 40, security agencies in the country. Mm. And this is a function of leadership. I, Olajide Agwola Logun, declared this morning that if my president and the commander-in-chief of the armed forces want peace in Nigeria in three months, he can achieve it. Mm. So it's up to him. We have said it. Uh, history is quiet in the corner. History cannot be arrested. You cannot be, you know, documenting everything going on now. And it will become case study in the future. But Absolutely. I can tell you, by potentials, Nigeria is the richest country in the world. Nigeria has the, the highest population of loving people. Mm. If you can governize them through leadership. And the motto of this country says, unity and faith peace and progress. So the starting point is unity. Then you people now have faith in the project. And when they have faith in the project, you have peace to implement. Peace and and when you have peace to implement, there will be progress. And what does progress mean? Prosperity. Absolutely. So if I want my regime to be associated with poverty, with kidnapping, with raping, with banditry, with unknown gunmen regime, so be it. I have no problem with that. But we can make reference to Rwanda. Rwanda was in that state. But Paul Kagame Turned will be around. respected mm. by, by, by posterity. And mm. John Magufuli of blessed memory, who revived his nation back from the, the track of, of destruction. So we are calling on leadership. Mark right. that. Leadership. Mm. Resourceful leadership. All right. Uh, Tunji, I wonder what you'd be expecting. One of the things that a lot of people have been talking about is this aspect of uh, the choice of persons in terms of ethnic. That has always come to play when it comes to positions like this. If the presidency is going to look at uh, another tribe and all of it, and then if the person will be able to build on the successes achieved so far uh, by the late chief of army staff, what would you expect, what are your expectations uh, with regards to this position? when the decisions are finally made? I will, I will be expecting that the person to be appointed will, be, will not be appointed based on the ethnic or religious sentiment. Mm -hmm. I want also at least use merit, but I will not be surprised because I know the, the antecedent of this uh, regime, particularly this president. The president does not like to work with people he doesn't understand or he doesn't know. In quote, that is the word. So mm -hmm. he, I will not be surprised that uh, if what we are seeing is about somebody from uh, somewhere else again, that people will say no, it's ethnic coloration or whatever. But whether ethnic or not, let that be, let that, that person merit. Because we have people who are in power, we have people who are in place of authority today, they were just there by quota system. They don't have the, they don't have the, 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 the IQ. Some of them are showing it now. They are, they have, they have, they are, on, they are in the high places. And some of them are, 
are not there. They are there because of that quota system. So I don't want to, but notwithstanding, I will not be expecting too much from anybody who's, who's, who that is, that has been appointed as uh, uh, chief of staff. Because we are still doing the same thing, the same way. And we cannot expect different results. Really? Yes, we, uh, we still don't have enough equipment. We still don't have enough personnel. We, we, still, don't, we still don't have adequate monitoring or supervision of these uh, people. Who some have, sort of a supplementary budget to address all of this. When, is, when will that come? When we are in an emergency? Is it, do, are, we, are we just going through this insecurity now today that they don't know that they're supposed to make provision for all these things? Hmm. Do we still have enough uh, welfare packages for these people who are fighting? So we are still doing the same thing the same way. And I will, not, I, will not, I will not expect different but not, not with Tandy, whoever you are bringing in. in. No, no. To fight for the welfare package of the people that you'll be working with. It should ensure that, not only to fight, ensure that this welfare gets to them. And right. they, are, they are satisfied with what, they, what is, what is being, they, are, they are being encouraged. You can see a, a old chief of staff, a chief of army staff that died, and the presidency was not even at the barrier. If that, if that encouragement, that will not encourage anybody to do anything. I would not want to die for in, in, if I'm in that position, to say, okay, if the president is, could, should be, could be afraid of being killed at the, at the barrier, so why will I be there? And we don't know why he didn't go there, though. They said it's 48 hours, that the security situation is not, uh, they, they've not confirmed the security situation of, 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 on ground, so he cannot go because it's not of, but I remember when the president's son had an accident, it not, did not take up to five hours. The president was at the hospital. Right. Yes. Hmm. Caught me right. I'm uh, wrong. <laughs> that was the position. So I you see if you are once you say you are the president, you have given your life to the country. Mm. You are ready to die for the country. But what we have today is that people who are just there just to enjoy. Not to, they, don't, they, don't, they, they see themselves as look, I must be the first person to be saved if there's any problem. Right. No. You must be the last. Mm. If we are in a, you see, that is it. Because that's you what are, that is what is about. Yes, that you have to play about you are our security. You are the one in charge of our security. You are the, it's not like having a security guard and there's a problem now say, look, I'll go. Come at first. <laughs> I'll be, let, let me, let me, you see, that's that the way it is. Right. So if, 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 until we change the way we operate, we can't have different results. And I'll not be surprised, no matter, no, no matter who is appointed, if we still continue to do the, thing we, the way we're doing it now, no, there won't be any results. All right, we'll leave the conversation here now. Lawyer and social development advocate Gide Olugu and lawyer as well, Tunji Abdul Amid. Gentlemen, thank you for your time on the program. Thank God you. Bless Nigeria. Absolutely.